Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be a mix of everything. Yesterday, I filmed the video cleaning the front of the house, so we cleaned my office, kitchen, family room, dining room, all that stuff. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the back of the house. We need to do some laundry. I really, really, really want to organize the linen closet in the hall. We have not organized that closet since we moved in. It's been like our junk closet. No one goes in it. When we have guests come over, I put all of the extra like towels and stuff already in the bathroom. So no one ever goes into that closet. So it's kind of turned into a junk closet, you guys. It looks a mess. So we're gonna be organizing the hall linen closet in this video. I wanna film another video of organizing the linen closet in our master, because we have a huge one in the master bath that I need to organize as well. And we need to clean the master bathroom. I went ahead and sprayed the cleaner in the shower this morning. So that's like sitting and getting ready for us. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let's get cleaning and organizing. All right guys, I'm about to open this linen closet and I'm kind of embarrassing. Blissy did not stay in her bed like I told her to. Kind of embarrassed to open this because something probably is gonna fly out, but let's see what we have, you guys. It is very bad. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything is just thrown in here, you guys. Like, I really want this to be a place that's functional so when guests do come and visit us, if they need to get any, like, products or, or I don't know if I'm going to put products in here since we have a massive linen closet in the master. I may do the one in the master of all products and then this one of all linen. I haven't decided yet, you guys, but the main thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to take every single thing out because... I guarantee you only about 50% of the things in this closet are actually gonna go back in here. Everything else is either gonna go in the master linen closet if it's like a product, and then if it is like linen that we're not using, I'm just going to donate it, you guys. I even have some Christmas decor right here, like what is going on? So let's go ahead and tackle this closet. I also wanted to share these baskets that I picked up from Target the other day. I will link them below. Um, I'm not sure, whenever I see organization tools that I like I just bring it home because I always find a use for it so I'm not sure if we're going to use these in the master linen closet or the guest linen closet that we're working on today but I have them um, and I can always go and get more because they had tons and tons in store so I got two large ones two small ones we're going to see how I like it and then I'm going to be using a lot of the containers I already have I'm going to be using too so anyway let's get organizing for real now Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby so whenever I'm organizing, decluttering a space, I always start with removing all of the products, the items. It is so much easier to organize if you have a clean slate. So that way you're putting your hands on every single item. You see what you need to throw away, what you need to donate, what you need to put in the correct location. Like 60% of this linen closet was in the wrong location. I had to end up moving it to a correct location. So I was able to just get everything in its proper home. So once we have everything out of this linen closet, we're going to be going ahead and going with my Dyson and vacuuming up all the dust. We don't have to move so fast, baby. I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away. So much time in the blurry lights. Added the little organization tools that I got from Target. I'm thinking I'm gonna want some more organization tools. I'm not sure if I want more of these or like some more just like regular baskets, but I'm gonna start adding stuff back in to kind of see if I, you know, need more organization tools. But what I was thinking was all of like the white pretty linen can go here. And then all of like the ugly linen that we use um, to bathe our dogs with and stuff like that can go in here. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna put here yet. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna put up there. So maybe some more baskets. We may go to Target, it's right up the street. So if we need to go, that's not a problem, but I'm gonna try to work with what I do have so far. 
by the way, I wanted to state that we get all of our white linens from Costco. They are so plush and soft, so if you're in need of some new white linens, definitely head to Costco. They have amazing quality towels. All right, guys, here is the after. I'm gonna do a run through and share it with you guys of everything that we have going on in here. So first step up here, I have just like all the extra toilet paper. Um, I do have some underneath the sink as well, um, but this is just the extra toilet paper because there's nothing like being on the toilet and realizing you don't have any. I don't want a guest to have to like get up off the toilet. So there is some underneath the sink, but there's also some extra here. This is extra products for the guest bath. So extra body wash. By the way, I love this Tree Hut body wash. It is so good. Um, extra like um, spray for the guest bath. And then this is also some face wash in case guests forget their face wash. We have some for them. And then every time someone comes to visit us, they ask for an iron. So I just finally just put it in here. We have two now. Um, this one's new and it's just for the guests. So that way if they need to iron their clothes, there's that. I can actually add a steamer in here as well because we have two steamers. So there's that. And then I also have some extra oil diffusers over there. And then coming here is all of our linen. So this is all of the extra sheet sets for the guest bed. Um, and then also some extra towels. We use these for our dogs. So these are all of the dog's accessories in there. Um, and then all of the sheets are in there. And then coming down, this is all of our extra dish towels. I do keep all of the dish towels underneath the sink, but we have quite a bit, you guys, and we go through them like crazy. So kept this filled of all the dish towels. I had this just laying around the house. I figured, you know what, let's just put it in here. And then this guy is empty, and my plans for this is I'm gonna put all kinds of products in here for guests. So there's gonna be some shampoo, some conditioner, another body wash, um, maybe some sunscreen, anything that I can think of that I think guests will, you know, potentially forget, I will add into this basket. So the next time I'm going to Target, I will pick that up. And then coming down here is where we keep all of our extra linen for guests. Now we do keep um, four towels and four washcloths in the guest bath, but that is if our guests go through that. Um, we have additional. So I do have four additional ones and then four additional washcloths in here. And then if you notice, this is empty. I picked these up from the dollar spot at Target. They were $5 each and they stack up on top of each other. I also have the same set underneath my sink. This is gonna be used whenever I go to Target to get all of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of toothbrushes that I can put in here and also like travel size deodorant, travel size toothpaste. I just wanna be able to have all the products in case someone forgets something, I have it on hand. So I'm gonna fill that up whenever I go to the store. So that is why that's empty. And then down here is just all of our extra blankets and stuff in case someone gets cold. We have tons of blankets available. And then under here, I like do like to keep my vases down here for fresh flowers. Um, and then I have some board games right there. Yeah, this is everything. It looks so much better, you guys. Like, I can make this work now. Before, it was a mess. So, huge improvement from what this space was. Everything that was in the linen closet that didn't belong in there, I've already put where it's supposed to go, which is why it took me a little bit longer to do the linen closet, because I was gathering everything and putting it in its location. But all of this stuff I'm going to donate because we just don't need... Um, these extra linen. So I'm just gonna put it in a trash bag and I can drop this off at Salvation Army and donate this. So I've shared this before in prior videos, but we use a fresh washcloth, towel, and face cloth every time we take a shower, wash your face. It is amazing for your skincare health. It does make extra laundry, so I will usually wash our white towels twice a week, but I love washing them with just some detergent, some softener, and then I put bleach in my whites every now and then. Now, you don't wanna do it for every time you wash them because it will turn them yellow, but I will do it like every other time I wash them.
so this quilt that you guys see me using to make the bed I got from TJ Maxx I washed it wrong I'm supposed to wash it on the delicate cycle and I washed it on the regular cycle and it made a huge difference in the texture of the quilt it's no longer like soft anymore and so anyway I want to get a new one of those and I'm gonna get a king size that's a queen size even though this is a queen size bed I always talk to you guys about size up on your linens so that way you have that kind of like hotel look so the next one at TJ Maxx I will pick one of those up because I miss of how soft it used to be before I washed it wrong but after we make the bed we're gonna go ahead and move on into the shower like I told you guys in the intro I had sprayed some cleaning product earlier in the morning so the shower was super easy to get clean and wiped down and I'm missing you and I promise I'm promise I'm So I went ahead and took the dirty towels off. Those are in the washing machine. I did spray down the inside of the shower this morning when I woke up. So the cleaning product has been sitting in the shower for like three or four hours now. So usually I would spray down the shower and then um, work on cleaning everything else in the bathroom. But since this has been sitting for a few hours, I figured I would just go ahead and start scrubbing away. Um, and get the shower nice and clean. Usually I do remove this little caddy out, but I did spray this down with cleaning product because um, it was, there's so much stuff spilled on it. So we're gonna be wiping that down as well. So usually whenever I'm cleaning out the bathroom or really any room, I always use, like I love Method products, I love Mrs. Meyers products, just really anything that's kind of natural, that doesn't have any harsh chemicals. But every few months, I like to go in with some Clorox. So when I sprayed the shower down this morning, I did spray everything down with Clorox. So it is like extra clean. I do like to clean with bleach because I feel like it does work better than the all natural products, of course, but I don't like the harsh chemicals. So it's not a product that you're gonna see me use very often but I also use the Clorox on the countertops and the toilet as well just to kind of give the bathroom an extra little clean So whenever I'm cleaning the shower, I always start at the top. Well, I try to always start at the top. I just somehow discovered this. It makes it a lot easier when you start at the top and you work your way to the bottom. So I scrubbed the shower walls. I went ahead and gave it a good rinse, all that cleaning products away. I sprayed some additional product on the floor because it had all got washed away, gave that a good scrub. And now I am just rinsing everything very well. We did add the shower attachment after we moved in. We've always had it on our shower and I don't know how people function with without them. One, it's amazing for cleaning the shower, but mainly it's amazing for giving yourself a shower, having that little handheld attachment to just like really get every area of your body. I don't know. We cannot live without it. We got it from Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. Highly recommend if you guys do not have one of those on your showers. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I asked you guys over on Instagram and also in my last video on YouTube what videos you guys want to see on my channel. And for the most part, all of the responses were the same. You guys said tons of cleaning content, recipes, organization, and also of course, holiday content. So I will be bringing all of those videos to my channel. So get excited for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and you have post notifications turned on. So hit that bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. the
clock and rewind Go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie So a little cleaning tip that I learned from TikTok, I love watching TikTok for like little cleaning tips, is that you can use Dawn Power Wash for more than just your dishes, like who knew? So I've used it to clean out the inside of my oven and loved that. So I recently tried it in my shower, it worked amazing. And now my favorite place to use it is spraying down my sink. I just keep it at the, like the cabinet of my sink, I can't talk, I keep it in the cabinet. And every few days I will just spray a little bit in my sink and take this brush and scrub away any of like the caked on toothpaste and it works amazing you guys so if you have not tried dawn power wash in other areas than just your dishes highly recommend because it is such an amazing cleaner So this morning I also sprayed down the toilet as well with some Clorox. So that had been sitting for several hours. Obviously the product was all dried up. So I did spray some additional Clorox product and I use paper towels. You guys probably know that from watching my cleaning videos. You use paper towels in the bathroom. No one has time to separately wash the microfiber cloths. It's That's just disgusting in my opinion. So paper towels is the way to go. I spent a lot of time in this bathroom. Don't let the sped up footage fool you. It took me about an hour and a half to do all of the things that I'm sharing with you guys. Wanted to give you a realistic timestamp that things like this take time. So we have a few more things left to do in the bathroom. I wiped down the mirror, so that's nice and clean. Now I'm taking a dry microfiber cloth to dry out the shower walls inside. And then to clean the outside of the shower walls, I'm using some glass cleaner and some good old paper towel, and that gets away all of the shrieks and anything like fingerprints that were on the outside of our shower. I won't do that again. Just when I thought we had a couple of things left to do, I added something else to our cleaning list. So we're gonna sweep the floors. And then I noticed there was like some caked on makeup on the cabinet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe them down, get those nice and clean. I use my Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe those down. And then after we get those nice and clean, we're gonna go over with my steam mop. So I learned this from TikTok as well. You take your essential oil and you put a couple of drops on your steam mop pad and it releases the most beautiful scents when you are steam mopping your floors you guys it smells up your entire home i think i did maybe like four or five drops so if you haven't tried that strongly recommend it you guys can see me doing it right there and i'm just going to steam mop these floors and get them nice and clean
videos, I share with you guys me putting laundry in the washer, but I feel like I never share with you guys me folding the laundry because this is usually a part of my nighttime routine. I don't know if you guys can tell from the window, but it is definitely dark outside. This is usually the last thing I do before I get ready for bed. I will fold any load that's in the dryer. So usually after dinner, I'll take care of it. So this is after dinner, definitely dark outside, getting this load of laundry folded and put away. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will have all of the products that I use to organize my linen closet down below for you guys. If you want to organize yours, check out the products I used. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road.